Hey guys, it's Ryan here today, and we are gonna do some simple effects and a cool advanced effect. Now, this is for um, if you like doing a, like this freezy effect where you just freeze in place. First, I'm gonna show you how to freeze a frame, and what we're gonna do is let's find the place where we want to freeze it. Let's say about right here. I'm oh, sorry, that's my dog here. That. All right, and we are going to go up to composition save as photoshop layer and um yeah okay we're gonna call it freeze and slime pick one save and then you're gonna open up finder go to movies and um find it freeze yeah freeze and slime pick one oops. freeze and slime pick one PSD and just click OK to this now let's exit out of this because we probably won't need it for a while alright now we're gonna get that new frozen picture we have and place it on top of our video and now uh, the video is, is frozen there the entire time now let's turn that off now let's do our final edits. That will work. Now what we're, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it the video off, drag it to there. So it so as soon as he walks, and it'll, then we drag this right here. And as soon as he's walking, you should freeze. And that was a pretty good freeze frame. And um what we're gonna do to get that blobby look is we're gonna make um, a mask around the frozen frame just and so we can have a moving background so it just doesn't look like it's entirely frozen so we probably need to zoom up on my character and just use this hand to move around if you need to all right and so we're gonna draw a, sha a shape around our character it doesn't matter if it's up great but it Alright, so now we have our shape mask that is pretty simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our footage layer and we're going to call this BG for background. As you see, this is a perfect shape mask, but it'll do. It's too jaggedy and stuff like that, but that doesn't matter. Alright, so we're going to get the part of our footage that, uh, that it has new that has not that uh, uh, that I'm not in. So now we have our BG, and all you have to do if you really want to do it a lot, but it doesn't really look that good, is to keep duplicating it. So let's zoom in and see if it's all the way connected. All right, we can fix that. But anyway. So this is just a rough editing. If that, if, like, if your color changes right there, then all you have to do is a couple color corrections. Okay. So now we have a frozen blob guy, just as frozen as could be. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him some animation. So we're gonna go open up so we can get this blobby effect. Go to effect distortion. I mean, distort and find mesh warp. No, I'm sorry, liquefier. Okay, so now you're at liquefier and you should have this item. And you want to zoom in so you can get. So you, you don't want this to be t so detailed like it's crazy. You probably want to do that if he's getting. if his soul's getting sucked up and then after that his entire carcass gets sucked up. But I probably won't make a tutorial for that until way later. Alright, so we're going to choose this one. And you could edit your options by going to Warp Tool Options. And you could probably uh, shrink it down to a 28, pressure up to a 55 maybe. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to make keyframes for our uh, warping. So first, we're going to go right here. Distortion Warp Mesh U. And we're going to drag it out 
to here, so you can do a little of um, some warping. All you're gonna do is click and drag, and now we get this warp look like he's getting warped up into a ball of energy. You kind of want to be careful until you get, you just want to keep messing with it until you get the right kind of liquidy form you like, like arms extending inwards to make like this slimy goo serpent. And that's what I'm making, by the way. You don't want to edit too much because then there's like a huge jump. And then there's like a lot to do. Like, that's pretty good. And then you just want to move it around to get the feel. Maybe you want to do some, do some of the legs now. Maybe you want to bring the shirt up a little. Like, remember, it's kind of like it's getting sucked up. That's pretty good. Like, so you get the mesh feel. And maybe if we want to, we can um, do something. We can do like blues, like we can make him blue or something like that. So or green, like slime and see through. But anyway, Alright, um, so now we've got kind of our liquidy stage. So he's going to just hop right up to the liquid stage. But the thing is, we don't want him just to stay still. Like, while this happening, he's just standing still. So it obviously looks like it's a frozen frame. We want him, like, moving at the same time. But you're thinking we took a frozen shot of him, and how are we going to do that? Very simple. All we're going to do is go right here. We're going to go to P for position. And we're going to click a stopwatch also. And we are going to move him slightly up just as our um, animation goes. So now we have the oh, perfect. Now we've got, we want him to move up like about this high. And maybe you want to make it kind of straight. But um, here it is. So now we got like this liquidy look. Maybe you want to move it up even faster than that. So maybe and then go up again. So now we're going to make him do like this dip down. So now he's morphing in the air. We could make him just flat on the ceiling, but we're going to take him down. So we're going to do like this droopy feel, like it's just drooping on the floor. So I'll probably just cut it off. And I think by now we are done with part one of this tutorial. So I'm going to stop it and um, then we'll continue from this point. Alright, thank you for watching and make sure to watch part two. Goodbye.